Hey, what's going on guys? Back at the tabletop doing a quick little update on a product that I've reviewed uh, a few weeks ago, a month ago, maybe two months ago. Uh, relatively recent, you guys can look back in the in the video selection and, and check it out, and that's the Blackhawk Tech Grip uh, holster. It's a clipless holster. It's kind of like the Remora sticky type of deal going on there. And I really like it. I've been loving it. I've been using it literally every single day since I got it because it's very convenient, it's very comfortable, and it works for what it is. And for the price that I paid, it's hard to beat. But as you can see, it is wearing. Now I've been I've been mainly shoving this up front appendix, um, you know, maybe like a 230 in, in appendix, but a little off to the right. A um, little bit more comfortable sitting down and an easier draw for me. It's a little closer to, you know, where my hands naturally fall at my sides. And uh, it's been holding up. You can see it definitely took the shape of the gun. Um, and, and, and that's to be expected. You know, it's not specifically molded for anything. Um, you see it does, you know, create or, you know, um, attract a lot, of, a lot of lint and stuff. But you can kind of ball it up and pull it off just like that. But there's a couple wear spots, and this usually sits on my belt as such. You got one right up here. Then you have this one against where the trigger guard, it's not necessarily a sharp edge, but definitely a more defined edge than the rest of the gun, especially where, you know, it's in there. And then you can tell it's, it's right up against there. And then the belt is going across. So it is going to wear. It's definitely not a piece of kit that's going to last forever. But how inexpensive it is and how useful it is. And obviously you guys have, you know, you can tell I've been using this. I've been carrying it. It's a great pocket holster. It's also great to shove in the waistband as, long, as well as, or ah, as long as you have a proper belt on that you're going to be able to cinch down to kind of give it that extra retention. This sticky material. No matter where I rub my fingers, even places where it's got a high buildup of lint and fuzzies and stuff like that, it's still more than sticky to do its job, like stay in the pocket of a coat pocket or, you know, a actual pocket on your pants, or like I said, to, to have in, you know, kind of Mexican carry style, just shove it in there, but the trigger guard is covered and it does retain in the pocket or in the waistline with the retention of your belt as well as the sticky material on the holster. But quick little update video, guys. I'm just doing it to show you that this will wear. You know, it's kind of to be expected. Uh, it's still definitely serviceable at this point. And uh, I'm going to keep running it. But for the money, I think it's hard to beat for what it is. You know, I mean, it's definitely a disposable item. You know, I, I, they cost less than 15 bucks, but it's it's been very useful. And for constant carry, literally everyday carry, it, it works and I'm sure that you know you wouldn't have these wear patterns here and here if you weren't running an appendix if you were strictly using this as a pocket holster this thing would probably last forever but if you're gonna run it on your belt and you got a nice stiff gun belt and you know the retention from that you are gonna see some wear patterns you know on the high wear edges of the gun you know this is a revolver so most of the areas are relatively smooth and rounded off just by design but the trigger guard and high high wear points like that you're definitely going to see it so right there on the top of the cylinder against the belt and then as well on the on the trigger guard so it rides appendix like that get into it real easy and uh i'm digging it for the money you can't beat it but just doing a little update of uh how she's holding up thanks for watching